The BSEVA are here at the Motorsport That's Two show and I'm going to have a chat with Tim Warwick about his 2020 season and his plans for 2020. Tim, thank you very much for doing this. So 2019, was it a good season? Did you have any good bits? How was it for you? Uh, it was uh, a little bit of a disappointment. We got ourselves a new car. Yep. Well, I say new car, it's a 20 year old uh, new car. Where was it us. from? Uh, it was a Wayman built. Uh, and Frank had it for sale going cheap Yeah, uh, and it was in good fettle, he hasn't done a lot. I think it was originally built for Nick Smith as a oh, okay. shale car and uh, anyway the price was right and Frank uh, also gave me a good price to swap the engine and all the bits and pieces off the old car into the new yeah. one. Uh, so that was last winter's project. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, to be honest, it's probably the best car I've ever had, um, and we had a sort of high hopes because yes. the previous four or five years were a bit of a disappointment. Okay. Uh, we had a car that we just didn't get on with, and uh, so yeah, we had high hopes. And uh, first meeting at Kings Lynn, a yes. couple of laps into the race, yeah. I got put in the wall, kind of a bit of a. It, it, I don't think it looked like much of a shunt, but it was just at the wrong angle. Was it the Yellows race? Was it the Washington Yellows race? Uh, yeah, race? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember, right, yeah, right and, the and, um, anyway, I ended up getting knocked out and um, fracturing a vertebrae in my neck. And, oh dear. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, not and, a and, great and, start in 2019. No, that's not uh, the best bit. Uh, and, and, if I, and if I say that's the highlight <laughs> of the year, you can imagine what the rest of the year was like. Um, so when did you get back on track? Cause well, I actually turned up uh, the following Kingsley in a month later, I, had a, I did give it a month's rest, yeah. but the uh, medical team found out and strongly advised me yeah. not to race. Yeah. There's no way it would have healed in that time. So for once, I was sensible and yes. heeded the advice. Uh, I went to get specialist uh, advice, and they, the doctor, said I needed to have at least three months off. Yeah. So that sort of, by the time I did get out again, I think it was uh, beginning of July at Bellevue. Okay. Uh, felt a little bit rusty in the heats, but by the national, was getting more in the swing yeah. of it. Got a few, got a place and a few points. So it, that kind of picked us up a bit. Um, you, but, you're very much a budget racer, aren't you? So I think yeah. you do. I think there's a lot of people out there that are willing you on to to do well and to, yeah. to get that race win and to. Is that kind of like something that's in your mind? Or are you, well, are you kind of conscious that you're aware well, of that? Well, you know, I know for whatever reason that, well, I suppose it's the English thing, the underdog, you know, yeah. cheering the underdogs. So, yeah, I, I know, uh, you know, we've got a lot of friends around the tracks, yeah. which is nice. Uh, um, but, yeah, it's just uh, not really gone our way. No. You know, and then when, when I did get out, uh, you know, the car would perhaps be going well. And I'd get involved in which is stock car racing. Yes. Big. Yes. Uh, and or the trouble is being at the front of the grid as a whites and yellows. You, you haven't got time to kind of settle down, have you? No. It's just like it's all well, like the first bend everybody's in and there, there, there was a couple way. of meetings where first race I was on the front row and first bend and I just get piled straight yeah. in and then get clobbered and it's and, and like, we're yeah. done for the yeah, day. Absolutely. You know, and yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's kind of frustrating. Uh, you know, when the thing's been going, it's been going well, yeah. but um, it's just been it, it's just been frustrating. The, the highlight, actually, for me was because, as you know, Hannah Chapel races the yes. car at Birmingham, yeah. and uh, the highlight this previous season was watching her, you know, yeah. and doing pretty well, getting in the minor places. Yeah. and that's good. That's uh, good that you can see that. Yeah, yeah. so. Uh, um, okay, so over the winter yeah. then, so we've had, so 2019 is a, a bit of a, put that to bed, so mm. over the winter you've done much of the car, have you, done, you, know, have you had a bit no. of a chill out and relax? Well, ready yeah, because uh, um, he, 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 even competing at our level on a budget and yeah. only racing now and again, and it's still a lot of hard work. Yeah, of course it is. And uh, um, a lot of the time, you know, I, I get help at the meetings, but a lot of the time, during the week, I'm sort of trying to do it all yeah. on my own. What do, you, what do you do as a job? What's your, what's your um, I'm a freelance HGV driver. Oh, okay. 
Uh, so you're not you're not always about then, are you? It depends, I guess. No, where no. You I mean, get it, you know, it's long hours. It's yeah. like Sixty hours is sort of like a normal week. Sometimes. And then when you're trying to um, find time to, yeah. But, but I also find, you know, if I race every, you know, if I if I've got two weeks be between meetings. I'll go home with two weeks worth of damage, <laughs> and I sort of wonder how we used to do two or three meetings a yeah, weekend, yeah, like course. you know, years back. Maybe they don't. Maybe you're younger. Maybe you're younger. Well, there's that, <laughs> and also maybe they don't build cars like they used to. I don't know, but you know, we'd do like Coventry on a Saturday and Skeggy Boston Sunday, yeah. and then the next week we'd do. Bradford and Hartley yeah. Pool. Yeah. <laughs> That's sort of like, how the hell did we do it? Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, is the car ready to go for 2020? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Well, I, I was just explaining. You know, I brought the car along today. Originally, we were going to go in the live action, but yeah. that, for whatever reason, got cancelled yeah. for the ones anyway. Yeah. Because Hannah and I were going to take it in turns. Yeah. And uh, anyway, then I found out that Sophie told me about the tribute to Colin, yeah. so I wanted to bring the car along for that. Yeah, of course. And then unfortunately, it's been firing up all winter, fired up fine last night, ticking over nicely and get get it here and didn't want to didn't want to go at oh, all. Okay. So I missed that. Uh, we tinkered about with it and we got it going now. Okay. So perhaps we'll bring it back tomorrow. Okay. So in terms of um, 2020, have you got any kind of plans, anything you kind of go, I want to race at this track, I want to go here, any aspiration, any goals you're saying yourself? Um, well, my main ambition is to um, get around the first bend. Really. I like that. That's yes, a good, yeah. that's a good yeah, goal to yeah, start I mean, with. I failed a few <laughs> times this, this year. Um, no, I mean, I think Realistically, in this day and age, with the cars out there, and uh, you know, we're just trying to. I always say that the sport has moved on, and I've stayed where I am. I'm kind of 25 years out of date. Do you think? But you are competitive on your day. Just you mean you are. Well, you can be up there. I think it's like say maybe a lot of bad luck that kind of doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't help. Yeah, but it it gets you. After, you know, yeah. when it's when you're not getting anything out of it, yes. when it's just all. Seems to be one setback after another. It kind of wears you down yeah. a bit. And I was talking to. I have, I have spoken to a few uh, sort of low graders today. Um, you know, and, and I've asked what's your, you know, your best bits, and it has been. I've had a great few laps, or I, I got a second in one yeah. race, and it's, and it's that that then carries you yeah, on. Yeah. It's not necessarily about yeah, winning yeah. every championship. No, or, no, no, no. Um, I mean, you know, I say you got to be realistic at our level. You have got to be realistic on. Yeah. You know. Uh, I mean. Uh, if I, you know, I want to win a race as much as um, well Tom Harris yeah. or Mix Order or any of those, but um, realistically, you know. But if I was in that position, yeah. I'd give it me all. Sort yeah, of thing, you know. And I mean, I like to think I have done in the past, yes. but just um, uh, it's so you know, you just. Uh, so we'll see where 2020 takes mm. you. And um, we're doing Bristol, we've got Scotland on the calendar. Well, I'm, ho I'm hoping Hannah will do the Bristol. Yeah. I don't know about Scotland, I'm not sure. It's a long way. Yeah. It's a long way. I mean, although, to be honest, I'll probably go and watch. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so, so do you prefer, so like you kind of, you sort of saying about uh, 2020, do you like, would you go and watch more if you weren't racing? Is that kind of? Well, I've, I've been around the sport since I was a kid, so I'm, I'm a fan at heart. Yes. So, uh, I'd, I'd still be about even yeah. if I got rid of the car. Yeah. But, uh, uh, or, you know, and I know one or two people I'd perhaps go and muck in. Yeah. Um, yeah, help them. So. Okay. So let's hope that 2020, you get around that first bend, you get a <laughs> decent race win, yeah. and uh, it will be a great season. You can carry on for a little yeah. bit longer. Okay. Tim, it's been great talking to you. All Thank right. you ever so much. Okay. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.